All right, so you got to tell me that that story again. Um, the 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 first time when you were with Gerald, how you made a how the cable box came to be. Now, you yeah, mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we decided that we can't get above twelve channels because TV receivers were limited to twelve channels. So we had to be able to take a a beyond twelve channels and convert it to a predetermined TV channels like two or three or four something right. like that. So since General Instrument had a working relationship with Alps Electric of Japan that made TV tuners, it seemed like an application of the TV tuner to become a separate box to feed the TV instead of the TV set itself. Right, right, because before that the cable went right into the TV set. Right into the TV, right, so right. this was an external box which would take more than 12 channels and therefore we could expand the cable viewing business. So John Malone gets on the phone, gets the people from Alps Electric on the phone, and said, Frank, tell them what you want. And I said, I would look for a separate box, interface between the cable drop and the TV set to take any one of higher than 12 channels, 14 for 20, you name it, and convert it to a channel two or three. <laughs> right. And we're off and running. And they said, yes, we can do that. And AC, UL approved and all of that stuff. And then John Malone said, uh, and don't forget, it can't cost more than nineteen ninety five. The businessman coming in. So that's how the cable box was born. Unbelievable.